We're here right now in the railroad fire uh, of 2017, burned four years ago, um, in the Nelder Grove of Giant Sequoias. And, and right now we're standing in an area that burned at low intensity. Uh, the fire burned in a mix, like all wildfires do. It was mostly low and moderate intensity, but there was a portion that burned at high intensity as well. And the interesting thing, and for me as an ecologist, the important thing is that in the low intensity fire areas, there is no giant sequoia reproduction, none. None from before the fire, none after the fire. These giant sequoias have been slowly dying for over a century and they have not been reproducing, replacing themselves because what they need for that is moderate and high intensity fire. In other words, fire that's intense enough that it actually will kill some of the mature giant sequoias. But what you get in the bargain is hundreds of times more giant sequoias because of all the reproduction. This is giant sequoia regeneration. This is all giant sequoia regeneration several hundred per acre, many of them four or five feet tall already, just at four years post-fire, and over 98% of the conifer regeneration in this large high-intensity fire patch is giant sequoia regeneration. The giant sequoias are thriving in here more than any other place in this fire area, by far. You don't see giant sequoia regeneration like this. Any, I mean, you just don't see it outside of a, a, a significant high-intensity fire patch. This is all post-fire regeneration, but all from, this, uh, from the, the seeds released by the cones because of this high-intensity fire. And because of the consumption of the duff and litter into this nutrient-rich bed of mineral ash, because of the extra sunlight, it's that combination of three things that giant sequoias need more than anything else to thrive, and they are thriving. Wow. Six feet tall. If the giant sequoias had no evolutionary history with large high-intensity fire patches, they wouldn't be adapted to it, and they wouldn't be able to respond to it in a way that would perpetuate the species. But as we can see all around us, giant sequoias are responding really, really well to this large high intensity fire patch. And this is, this is heartwarming. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind saying that as a scientist. This, you know, I, I love seeing this. You know, this, is, this gives me a lot of hope for the future.